Donations to many central Indiana community centers and food banks are down. So some of the drop in charitable giving can be attributed to changes in the tax code and donations from a large charitable organization here in Indianapolis. Which TV's Richard Essex joins us now to explain. Richard? Well, the Concord Center on the near south side of Indianapolis received a $5 million grant almost two years ago. Now, it sounds like an awful lot of money, but they can't spend any of that money on day to day operations. The Concord Center is the oldest community center in central Indiana. The organization was founded in 1875. It takes money to keep the lights on and to run the numerous programs offered at the center. This is the lean years for Concord, I'd say in recent history. Right now, the Concord Center needs cash to pay the day-to-day -day operations. It takes money to hire a tutor for the preschool program. The electric company wants their share in convincing donors that while their bank account may look big, it really isn't, and it's tricky. The $5 million grant money can only be spent on long-term projects. And it looks really big and really jarring and like we're okay right now. And we are, but we also need additional funding sources to to do what we do every day. There was some initial concern that donors um, may pull back and say you don't need the money, you just received a, a substantial gift. Joe Slater is the chief financial and operating officer of Gleaners Food Bank. They also received a sizable grant from the same endowment fund two years ago. And again, the money cannot be spent. 95% of that principal initially was put in the bank and it's invested. And we can't touch that ever. So really, the income that those funds generate for us is what is available to us, but then also specifically only for sustaining projects. Both organizations told me that the grants will make a world of difference in the future projects, but they still have to concentrate on keeping the lights on and the doors open and employees paid. Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8. Richard, thank you very much.